Welcome to the Rich TV Live podcast. I am your host, Richard D'Souza, with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, fantastic. I'm pleased to say it's been a very good couple of weeks for Vox. Uh, I'm sure we'll get into it, but uh, back uh, back in the office after a couple of weeks at some great conferences in Colorado. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been very productive for us. Fantastic. Great to have you back on the show. And it's been a while since we have had a general overview on Vox. Can you give us a recap on what Vox does and why you believe the company is special? Yeah, well, Rich, you know, it comes around like, what's the core of Vox? Why do we exist? And we exist to offer investors what we believe is the best risk adjusted way or means to play the commodity industry overall. And we are a specialist buyer of third party royalties. We believe that that business model, uh, when executed appropriately, maximizes investor returns uh, with a lot less risk than other options that are out there. And so when you look at what Vox has accomplished since uh, really 2020, we've generated the highest returns on investor capital in the industry. Wow. And we're able to do that through our very unique business model in the royalty sector. We've driven immense growth uh, and that's equaling shareholder returns and what you know, what we believe we're putting together is one of the strongest junior royalty companies. Congratulations for all of your success. Now, please discuss your most recent acquisition of a portfolio of nine Australian royalties and why it was so accredited. Well, this transaction was uh, something we've been chasing for uh, seven years now, to be honest. It is, it really speaks to what Vox looks to accomplish for our shareholders, how the business model operates. So, We've been scanning the world for interesting developments on mining assets every single day uh, as a team for the last seven years. And so this portfolio of assets, we picked up some really interesting uh, drill results on an asset operated by Northern Star. We knew that this portfolio existed, uh, it was buried uh, within a subsidiary of a subsidiary, and ultimately we're able to strike value with the owners of this portfolio of nine royalties. And the cornerstone asset is an asset called Red Hill. It was operated by Barrick uh, in 2007, produced two and a half million dollars, uh, approximately two and a half million dollars of revenue to the previous owner. And at gold prices, relatively a third of where they are now. Uh, this discovery is essentially just right below the pit floor of where they had stopped mining. We have no idea why they didn't drill it back then, but they have now. Uh, and ultimately, this discovery produced uh, a 1.2 million ounce resource, again, operated by Northern Star which is a $12 billion Aussie gold mining company and one of the most significant gold miners in Australia. And ultimately, uh, between this asset, Red Hill, and then another asset that we acquired in this portfolio, Horseshoe Lights, uh, for $4.3 million, we acquired approximately 50,000 gold equivalent ounces uh, under royalty coverage. And that equates to, at, you know, let's say $2,000 gold for round numbers, what we believe is around $100 million in value. And so we're really excited about this transaction. These are both uh, what we believe is near-term producing assets, uh, with one of them being in the hands of an absolutely fantastic operator, Northern Star. And so we think this was a really unique transaction in the royalty sector. I don't want to call it a once-in-a-lifetime transaction uh, because I think and I know what's in our pipeline to continue to go and execute. Um, but it is that type of quality of acquisition, something we've been wanting to get done for seven years. Uh, and it will be hard to measure transactions in the sector against this uh, for a very, very long time. Congratulations. That sounds fantastic for yourself and for shareholders. And what differentiates Vox from other royalty companies? Well, our business model centers around scanning the world for interesting developments on mining assets. That's how this came to be, you know, now part of the Vox portfolio is we look at interesting data sets. I won't get into what those are uh, in, in most major mining jurisdictions. And then that combines with our proprietary database, which we've spoken about before. And so when we see an interesting development on an asset, we're able to quickly understand if there's royalties over these projects, oftentimes who owns those royalties. And we're able to find the royalties that a lot of groups just don't know about. Um, and it's that whole process alongside a technical team, mining engineers and geologists on the front lines of our business that allows us to kind of connect those three legs of the stool, our process, the IP and our team to find really unique opportunities to drive value for our shareholders. And, the creativeness of this transaction really stands out, but we're doing this every day. Uh, you know, we also noted about a month or so ago, a royalty that we bought for $100,000 of a portfolio had a really unique feature where there was a discovery payment 
we already are realizing $1.5 million on a $100,000 investment. And we think there's another possibly up to 50X from that number to go. So we are targeting these types of assets, these types of opportunities all over the world. And most, you know, that's unique versus a lot of the junior royalty sector for sure. You guys are good at what you do, that's for sure. And how does the diversification of Vox's portfolio across multiple jurisdictions and commodities contribute to your management strategy? Well, Rich, you and I were kind of talking about this off air. You know, the market really right now is looking for gold to break out higher. Um, look, I, I do believe that long term gold does go higher. That doesn't inform or underpin uh, our analysis on assets. We actually price in backwardation in commodity prices. But we're really unique as a business in that about 70% of our net asset value is gold that's pr or precious metals rather that's increased with this big gold royalty acquisition uh, of Red Hill in Western Australia. Uh, but we don't need gold to go higher. We're delivering fantastic results. We're driving fantastic growth uh, with gold at, at $1,900. That's a great price. Uh, and a lot of that stems from also the fact that we're a royalty company and we're not exposed to the operating cost inflation that the miners are facing, which is pretty steep. So it's both a product of the assets that we've targeted, generally low cost operations across the commodity spectrum. So from gold to base and industrial metals, um, and then assets that are expanding and growing and are very in very good hands at these prices uh, and then not exposed to those costs. So, you know, as I said, Vox is unique in that capacity, both as a company and as a royalty company that we're we're really leveraging a lot of strength in the commodity prices without uh you know the negative effects of cost inflation across the sector i know one of the things that makes you guys unique is you guys also pay a dividend and my question for you is kyle what's next for vox royalty well you know it it might not sound that sexy but it's really a lot more of the same we've been very disciplined in terms of what we executed on our systems and processes, build, continuing to build those out. Um, and I think it's creating really unique value for shareholders. We believe it's excess value for shareholders versus the industry. Uh, if you look at approximately the 50 million that we've spent uh, buying royalties, that last year generated almost $10 million in top line royalty receipts, which is a 20% return on invested capital based on guidance that we've given 11 to 13 million this year. Um, that could be close to 25% for 2023. And again, this is long duration growing cash flows. So we have what we believe is a very unique model that's capable of generating us excess returns for shareholders. And we're going to continue to just execute. Uh, and at some point here, we believe that we'll break out and our share price will, will be closer in line with the fundamental valuation of the business. Well, we're going to be watching very, very closely. Thank you for joining us, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. Now, I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research whenever you're looking to invest in companies that we are featuring. I must bring your attention to the symbol for Vox Royalty Corp, VOXR on the NASDAQ, and also VOXR on the Toronto Stock Exchange. And I must remind you that if you're not winning, you're probably not watching because we bring you the winners, CEO interviews, breaking news, trending topics, and we bring them to you first. Kyle, thank you for joining us again today. Rich, always my pleasure. Thanks for having us back on. Always a pleasure. And for those of you guys that are watching at home, thank you for your time and have a great day.